Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on advanced topics in a function. In this tutorial, we will learn source command to put a function in background with the help of some examples. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of shell scripting in Bash. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system and GNU Bash version 4.2. Please note, GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended for practice. Source command is used to load a file into shell script. It reads and execute commands from that file. It also imports code into the script. This is useful when multiple scripts use a common data or a function library. The syntax for source command is as follows. Source, file name, source, part to file, source, file name, arguments. Let me open a file, function.sh. This is the shebang line. Source detail.sh will load the file detail.sh into function.sh. Let me open detail.sh file. I have a function machine. Now type inside the function. Echo function machine is called in function.sh file. Click on save. Now let us go back to our function.sh file. Here type echo beginning of program. Click on save. Then type machine echo end of program. This will print the message beginning of program. Machine is the function call. And this will print the message end of program. Note that machine is the function which we created in the detail.sh file. And we are calling the function here in function.sh file. Now click on save. Let us execute the program. So type on the terminal chmod space plus x space function dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash function dot sh. Press enter. The output is displayed. Now let's move on to background function. To run a process in the background, we use ampersand at the end of a function call. The shell forks a child process to run the command. The fork process will have a job number in and a PID process identifier. Let us understand this with the help of an example. I will open the file background.sh. This is the shebang line. bg underscore function marks the beginning of the function. The echo statement here displays the message inside bg function. Next, we will use the find command to find all the .mp3 files. This statement will find all the files with the extension .mp3. It will do so in the current working directory. Hyphen i name is used to ignore the case. And the result is stored in myplaylist.txt. Now type bg underscore function ampersand. This is the function call. Ampersand puts bg underscore function in the background. Now click on save. Let us execute the program. Come back to the terminal. Type chmod space plus x space background dot sh. Press enter. Now type dot slash background dot sh. Press enter. Blank output indicates dot mp3 file is not present in current directory. 
Now come back to our program. Type echo hyphen e presses running in background r slash n and jobs space hyphen l. Click on save. This echo statement will display the message process running in background r jobs space hyphen l lists the status of all background jobs. Now come back to our terminal. Now type dot slash background dot sh. Press enter. The output is shown. Here, one with an opening and closing square bracket is the job number. 3962 is the PID. PID will vary accordingly. If the function takes time to execute, it will run a process in the background and we will see the status as running. If the function gets executed before the script, we will see the status as done. The output will vary from machine to machine. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt source command to put a function in a background with the help of some examples. As an assignment, write a function add to add two numbers and call the function in another file. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial teams. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.